Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. So today we are going to make our ultimate food and I think last time or the time before we did something with gates or journal and oh yeah it was the cooking with blockheads. We never got our loot chest for this. Uh, wow! <laughs> Two wind genera uh, generators for mechanism, that will save me some effort. Uh, can't say no to that. Wow, okay. <laughs> Oh, damn. Okay. Uh, we didn't see that one, right? Uh, okay, so there's another one. A cow in a jar. We can attempt to do this for fun over time. Uh, you need an anvil and a milk jar. Milk jar is not probably hard. Uh, milk jar. Can I just make the cow instead? Uh, so what you need is a milk jar, and it has milk. So glass and a wood. Okay, glass and wood. was one wood right and then you need your glass that was like this and then you need your thing of milk which good luck oh here we go we'll just run and touch the cow quickly here cow 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 here cow 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 oh here's one Boom, there we go. And that should make that. And then we're going to have to make an anvil, I guess, as well. for the, the Oh, I should probably try to capture him some way. Uh, let's see here. So if I... Oh, let's just do it for, through here. There you go. The lazy method. There you go. So we got that. And then what I assume we do is we just throw the cow, say... Uh, well, that's probably going to be dangerous. But, well, we can attempt it anyways. We'll put the cow, say, down here. This is an old shaft anyways. And then you're going to want to cover that up a bit. This is our salesman guy who ran away from a zombie. And there you go. I don't know how well this is going to work, but we'll, we'll attempt it anyways. The cow might suffocate and die. And then we actually got an item to move the cow. You can make a lasso and things like that, but we already got a freebie, so might as well use it. Uh, save us some time. Uh, it's some kind of weird scepter thing. Kind of, here it is. That, I believe, can do it. And then uh, we need an anvil. So anvil. You know, make an anvil drop on a cow. Kind of sad, to be honest. One, two, three. And then one, two, three, four. There we go. Okay. So that should hopefully do it. We'll find out here. So we're going to use this thing. Quest complete. Cow in a jar. Oh, I guess technically you don't have to have, you know, pick up a cow within the jar, I guess, or something. So technically you can end it here if you couldn't figure it out or had problems. But uh, there you go. You can hold, I think, like four or five animals. And I think they can all be different too, oddly enough. But uh, yeah, I think what we can do now is we do it like this, maybe. And then we drop that on him. And there you go. So he should be in the jar. Oh, yeah. See, he's producing milk. <laughs> this is freaking adorable, honestly. Okay. So that was cool. And it probably can hook up to this. I don't really know. But uh, there you go. I wonder if we can go on an actual counter, to be honest. There you go. So he produces milk over time. Uh... He can only hold eight buckets worth, but hey, it, it happens. And I guess it fills up with the cow in there because that's sad. He drowns. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we finished that. That's actually really awesome. So we can pick a loot chest or one of those other things. I'm definitely going to pick the loot chest. Uh, black wool legacy carpet. Such a waste of time, but whatever. Uh, anyways, um, so what we're going to work on, and I've, I've worked on it all, uh, is something called a random taco. And this is the random taco, and it requires cutting board, of course, meh. It requires any kind of meat, basically, steak-wise. No, any meat, maybe even. Oh, maybe any kind of steak and beef. Okay, so any kind of cow-ish meat. Uh, onions, and then I use spice leaf for this one. Avocado, uh, we'll do regular cheese. Tor uh, tortilla, which in the end is just corn. And lime juice, which is two limes. So if we go over here, I'll show you what we got. We got the onions over here. We got the corn over here. And I made this cute sprinkler. The sprinkler was actually really... Uh, it's a simple recipe. Um, 
but there you go. Just some bone meal blocks, water bucket, and iron. It helps helps it a bit. And uh, anyway, so you got that. And uh, oh yeah, the corn, and then the spice leaf, and then I have the limes and the avocado. Honestly, with the limes and avocado, I just use bone meal to just rapidly do it. I'm too lazy to kind of let like have a bunch of trees. And why do I want to like the world with a bunch of trees anyway? So. Uh, and then basically I've been crafting some of this over time. So I had already done a bunch of the cornmeal. So I went through here. Um, oh yeah, the cornmeal, like they don't do it in full steps. So you'll see the cornmeal here, um, but you won't see the dough. The dough will appear down here, but uh, oddly enough, it doesn't go that far back. So you just have to kind of do it this way. So we'll go ahead and put it in there and you even have to include the water sort of, I think. Uh, but there you go. You got the cornmeal. Now you'll see the tortilla. And then you just, you know, click there and there you go. We got the tortilla done, which I had already done that, but I thought I would do that with you guys. Now, the rest of the recipe won't f follow because we need lime juice. I already did the stack of lime juice in here, and this is what it looks like. I just wanted to keep an extra bit of lime in there. And then the last thing I think we don't have, as far as I know, is the cheese itself. So we have to make a box of cheese. Uh, I assume that's the last one. So there's the thing of cheese. And it might bring up the random taco now, but I do not know. I don't actually see it yet, so we're probably still uh, delayed on one thing. We have steak. We should have the onion, uh, the avocado, the tortilla, the cheese wedge. So it's just cheese. And we have a cutting board, so we should actually have it. Oh, it's no, that's the avocado one. Random taco. It's in there. Okay, there you go. And we should be able to make 64. There you go. And this, my friends, gives you dairy, fruit, grain, protein, and vegetables. All five of them at 3.6% each. So you can see on here, you know, 26. Well, that'll be 29 probably. Uh, well, we can't even eat it right now. But there you go. This is the ultimate food, and we have everything here. This is all you need. Plus, of course, the random cow here and there when you go out and hunt them or we can have a little farm later on but uh yeah basically this is the ultimate food and it gets us what we need and it works i mean you can't argue with the results of course so uh i'm excited by that uh, i guess today i also want to look at some storage options it's probably going to be just plain old uh boring uh iron chest for now but let's look at it there's a storage uh, let's see storage there's these ones. These are always nice, but they require normal chests, which is fine. Treated planks, which is nice. Wood casing, that's fine. And impregnated sticks. Ooh. So impregnated sticks is actually seed oil. And uh, that's, that's gotten from seeds, of course. And uh, you get two of them uh, with... Uh, yeah, two of them with uh, 100 ml buckets of seed oil. And seed oil is a kind of expensive, too. Like, just to give you an idea... That's 10. And how much do we need? 100 or 200? 100. So you would need 10 seeds, which is not a lot when you think about it. You need four of them. So you need 200. So you need 20 seeds just to make one storage container in a sense. Uh, so, I mean, that adds up, right? I think, let's see if I was doing the numbers right. So I'm pregnated. You get two of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it adds up. Though there is other things that you can use. It has to be forestry stuff, and which is fine. Uh, but there's some really decent forestry stuff that you can get like look at this 180 from walnut but you have to be able to breed up there uh chestnut gives you 220 which that's pretty cool but you have to get up that level eventually um so that's a little out of our grass right now but uh yeah so there's that storage or there's uh iron chest mod here which they've kind of nerfed a, a bit of it but it still works the same way they have an iron chest for skulker stuff Interesting. Um, but anyway, so it's iron around a chest. It's a normal chest and iron plate. And then you can use gold plate on there. And then you can use diamonds on there. But they kind of nerfed it a bit because it requires a diamond gear. So you need the metal press or things like that. So uh, that's kind of interesting, actually. I, I kind of like that bit of nerf. Um, but then again, iron plates are kind of cheap to us because two, three... Because we can make uh, as many as we want in a sense this way without too much of a headache. So that is one reason iron chests, at least themselves, are a good entry level. Just because you can just make as many as you want without too many headaches, honestly. So uh, I'm going to take all these chests out. I know this is a bad idea, but we're doing it right now. We're doing it live. Um, 
yeah, we're gonna go like this and just go like that. There we go. So we'll probably want the crap stuff up here. And then there you go. And I'm gonna put redstone in one of these as well. There we go. And now I have a bunch of other stuff because I guess I was running out of room, so I was starting to put a lot of crap in here, unfortunately. There you go. And then uh, more important materials, I guess. You could put like these in here. They're not really more important though. There you go. But we can we can store them a little more separate, I guess, which is nice. There you go. And redstone and you. Yeah. There you go. Don't know why that was there. That must have been my mistake. There you go. And then you can put you here, you here. There you go. And then we'll need one for ores too. So it's up to you where you want to put the ore one. I'm going to put the ore one here for now. There you go. Ore is over there. There you go. Yeah, a bit messy. Uh, mostly because I, it looks like I was messing the chest originally there a bit more. I probably got lazy and threw some junk in it. I guess we had a bunch of stuff in our inventory too, which would uh, count for some of the mess. There you go. And there you go. You can go and be even more lazier and throw it over there, which is probably not a good idea. And then you got these guys over here. So I guess in this sense, you could just start putting this here. And... Um, even then, I'm thinking, like, you know what? Why does that Can I just go up there? There we go. There you go. There you go. I know we're going to want more things around here eventually, but should be good. As long as there's no bad stuff. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we put the ores in there. Good. And then I was thinking, well, things like the more important things, like uh, these guys can go over in this corner for now. And uh, then you're going to want one for mob loot. And then you want ones for random stuff. So I feel like this is like the... This could be more the ram random stuff. Random rare, maybe. I don't know. This could be for nuggets. This can be... Yeah, actually, let's put these here. Oops, sorry. And then we'll put these ones over here. There you go. Some kind of organization in my chaos, anyways. And, um, yeah. We don't have anything in there. Okay. And then, let's see. You here, you here. Technically, Enderpearl should be, like, a mob drop anyways, but a mob drop chest is normally full, actually. It's not really right now. I even have windmills I just put in there like a noob. <laughs> and then, yeah, we can put these ones over here for now. There you go. And then, uh, yeah, these guys themselves. I don't know why I have seeds. don't know why I have you in there. You get the idea of my mess now over time. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put you guys in your own... I need something more respectful, though. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just put you guys in here for now, and then we can sort you a bit more over time. There you go. And then, yeah, so mob loot stuff shouldn't be here. This is why we got to fix up this area over here. We could actually probably start putting some mob loot in the, these chests here. Uh, is this all mob loot, basically, in a degree? Pretty much. It needs to be separated better, but I guess you could do, like, loot that comes directly off of mobs themselves. Feather arrows, I guess, technically does, but like in degree, I don't know. I just don't feel like they count as much. But like these ones, I feel like they count. Bone meal, well, just bones and bone meal, I guess they should be together. Any kind of actually good passive, like foods, probably should be separated. There you go. Rotten flesh can be there, brains. So you can kind of find a way to kind of do it. You know, eggs technically should be in a good spot, too, to be honest. There you go. If we're going to do, like, bad evil stuff versus non-evil stuff. 
And then you got your, oh, meats and all the good stuff here. So you're going to want to, you know, take that. And honestly, the meats themselves shouldn't even be in here. They should actually be taken outside and stored in that other chest. So that that's another thing, too, to be honest. You just don't, you don't want them here, so. And I guess that's a mob drop, technically. And that should be on the other corner and the pizza. I guess we can take any kind of food at that point and then just throw them over there. Okay, and then I saw you there. And then, I mean, I guess this could be... Ah, we'll keep it as a mob drop here for now. There you go. And then we got a lot of random foods. I wonder if these are, would trigger anything in here. Nah, okay. We'll go ahead and... Yeah, that can't store anything, but these can store some stuff, and then the fridge is full of stuff. Though we freed some stuff recently just because of all the crap we just crafted, which is nice. There you go. Oh, that's this kind. There you go. You know what? It fits in there, and it works. There you go. And, yeah, so, uh, yeah, this is actually going to work well. So I'm going to keep organizing this. I have another video I'm going to tack on this, and I don't know what length they were. I think they're, like, maybe seven or eight minutes long. So, actually, yeah, we got a couple minutes here. Uh, and then I'm going to tack them on. They're, they're going to be in, uh, one's going to be about a dragon, uh, no, a treasure chest. Treasure chest first, which I'm completely blind, and I talk about how I thought it was, uh vanilla but this treasure chest is actually something you get from i think quarks is the one that adds it to the game somebody said to me so or electro said to me so um and then ooh, sample 10 varieties so look at that we got another heart and then uh there's a dragon corpse so i thought i would share those with you just something cool and i just wanted to say hey guys look what i found and just kind of share it with you and i thought it would just be neat honestly so it doesn't really mean anything it was just something there and uh, i think you guys would enjoy seeing them um and yeah so thank you guys and girls so much for watching i hope you enjoy this and uh stay tuned for these two parts have a wonderful day bye bye hello ladies and gentlemen so today uh we found a treasure map here and it was just in a chest in a temple, and I wanted to check out what it was, so uh, we're going there now. Um, it says I'm going towards it, but I don't... Oh, there we go. We're, we're right on it now. I've never found or seen a treasure thing in Minecraft like this before. I think this was a new feature, and maybe it was 1.12. It could be 1.11, who knows. But uh, either way, this is kind of exciting to play around with, but I don't know exactly how it works. Looks like this treasure is going to kind of suck because it looks like it's going to be inside a hill. Yeah, it looks like it's like right here in the hill. But we'll attempt it anyways. Might as well get right to it because, I mean, it could be... I don't know if it's up or down or left or right, you know. But we will attempt to get it. Here you go. So we probably should do this the safe style. Uh, just make sure we're kind of right on it still. Oh yeah, I feel like that's pretty safe. Okay, we'll work our way down and see what we got here. My inventory is completely full because I was exploring and then I hit something else and got even more inventory space taken up, so... Let's find that treasure, my friends. Oh, we broke our pick. Uh, that's good, because we always bring us uh, extra of these guys, so... There you go. Not 
really sad about my inventory size right now. Oh, this is diamonds. That would be sad if they just marked diamonds. Yeah, I feel like we failed there, my friends. I mean, technically, it could be just diamonds. That's all you get out of it. <laughs> that would be uh, pretty depressing, but uh, anything's possible, right? Oh, man. That's going to be annoying. We're going to have to take those out temporarily just because I can't do the placing right now. Or we're never going to get out of here. Yeah, so diamonds is the only thing I could think of that we just obtained in a horrible way. I guess once in a while we could just do this and see if there's anything interesting. This is a hill biome, so there's emeralds in it. Might be worth coming here and mining, that's for sure. I'm just going to do this once in a while. I mean, that should be enough to really open up anything to give us an idea. Oh yeah, I should eat the s'mores. Oh, I guess it over heals us. We got like even extra hearts on it. Let's see here. Nothing yet. Man, I can't believe we ate the... I guess that's what happens when you go crazy with the durability here. Hey, we leveled up our tool, though. Okay, yeah, yeah this is pretty confusing, my friends. Let's, let's go and let's investigate this more. Okay, nothing in there, so let's try this. Nothing there. And maybe it's just a dud. I don't know. Or maybe the diamonds are the treasure, you know? Definitely didn't feel very rewarding, that's for sure. Oh, there it is. So it's on the surface in a sense. Okay. Well, we know that now. Uh, so we got this. Oh, I got one of these. I don't know what they are yet, but I have already a building one. I might grab it. I mean, this treasure goes to this treasure, right? So it doesn't really matter at that point. <laughs> Somebody will find it and be like, what's this? And get excited. I feel like I already have one of these at home anyways, and I'm pretty sure they're not. I don't know. They're easy to make. Manuscript. Let's get rid of these guys. I don't know what this is. Okay, I guess you want those over time, so I might want to keep those. Uh, dark steel, I have one of those in my bag already, so let's put that in there. I don't know if I have anything else in here. That would stack, and we can get rid of that. Awesome. And then we already have pumpkin seeds. But we can stack those. They're a little extra. I, I guess I can collect this. Not a big deal. I get so many of those things. Uh, boomerang. I don't think I care about that. It's probably a good enchant, though. I don't have anything else I need anyways. Okay. So there you go. It's just a fulfilling chest, basically, of items. And, uh, you know, it was fun to find, so uh, worthwhile. And uh, I'm going to show you something else I found, and then uh, we'll go from there. So thank you guys so much. Hi guys and girls, so I found this dragon corpse while we were adventuring. I was actually visiting Togi coming back and uh, I think basically you can actually shift right click or maybe, there you go. And he drops items, there you go. There you go, that's all. Uh, nothing special, but it's used for some stuff later on, I guess. The bones seem to stack of eights and uh, cool. Uh, I just thought, hey, that's cool. You know, I don't want to fight a dragon. Togi says they one-shot you without armor, so... Uh, and he had leather armor, I think, at the time. But uh, either way, there you go. A dragon.